Ever wondered why snow feels so magical? Like nature's way of wrapping the world in a cozy, fluffy blanket? Well, buckle up your snow boots because today, we're diving headfirst into the frosty phenomenon of snow. What it is, why it happens, and some downright bizarre snow stories that'll have you saying, snow way. What is snow and how does it happen? Snow is basically nature's way of showing off its cold weather crafting skills. It's made up of tiny ice crystals that form when water vapor in the atmosphere freezes before it has a chance to turn into liquid. Imagine water skipping the boring puddle phase and going straight to sparkly masterpiece. These ice crystals stick together, forming snowflakes, which are as unique as fingerprints. Yes, even that one weird clumpy snowball you made as a kid had its own personality. But here's the kicker. Snow only happens when the temperature is at or below freezing. 32 degrees Fahrenheit or zero Celsius. And the air has enough moisture to pull off the frosty feet. That's why you'll never see snow in a desert. Unless you're in the Atacama Desert in Chile, which actually did get snow in 2011. Surprise! Why does it snow? Snow is the result of a delicate atmospheric balance. When warm, moist air rises into colder layers of the atmosphere, it cools down, and the water vapor condenses into ice crystals. If conditions are just right, boom, a snowstorm is born. And if they're not, you get sleet, freezing rain, or that sad winter drizzle nobody likes. Snow isn't always white. If you've ever seen pink or red snow, that's because of algae. It's called watermelon snow, and no, it doesn't taste like summer unless you like your summer with a side of microscopic plant life. Types of snow and snowflakes. Not all snow is created equal. You've got your fluffy powder, perfect for skiing, your wet, heavy snow, which is great for building snowmen, but awful for shoveling, and your crusty snow, which makes walking sound like you're stepping on a bag of chips. Sometimes snow can compact and harden into fern, a dense, icy form of snow that can eventually become glacial ice. Fern is the tough, unyielding cousin of the fluffy flakes we know and love. As for snowflakes, they're like the overachievers of the ice world. Each one forms around a tiny speck of dust or pollen, creating stunning six-sided patterns. Think of them as Earth's tiny ice origami. Crazy snow stories from history. The year without a summer, 1816. In 1815, Mount Tambora in Indonesia erupted spewing ash into the atmosphere. The result? A volcanic winter in 1816, where snow fell in June across parts of the US and Europe. Imagine trying to have a summer barbecue while shoveling snow. Buffalo Snow Tsunami, 2014. Buffalo, New York, saw over seven feet of snow in a single storm. That's enough to bury your car, your driveway, and your optimism about winter entirely. Siberia's mysterious yellow snow, 2007. Residents in Siberia woke up to yellow, green, and orange snow. Scientists said it was due to pollutants in the air, but locals? They probably just decided not to eat the yellow snow. Snowball Earth. Around 650 million years ago, scientists believe Earth was entirely covered in ice and snow. Talk about a frosty phase. It's like the planet went full Elsa from Frozen and said, the cold never bothered me anyway. The Guinness World Record for the largest snowflake. According to legend and Guinness World Records, the largest snowflake ever recorded fell in Fort Keogh, Montana in 1887. It was a whopping 15 inches wide and eight inches thick. Imagined hat landing on your head. Trending questions about snow. Why is snow white? Snow looks white because its ice crystals reflect and scatter all colors of light. Combine all those colors and you get white. Kind of like nature's way of flexing its physics skills. Can it be too cold to snow? Yes, but it's rare. Snow needs moisture and in extremely cold conditions, there's usually not enough of it in the air. So if it's bitterly cold and dry, you're more likely to get frost than snow. Yay? What's the deepest snow ever recorded? Mount Ibuki in Japan holds the record with a mind-blowing 465 inches of snow in 1927. That's nearly 39 feet, 
or the height of a four-story building. Imagine digging out of that. Is snow edible? Fresh snow is technically safe to eat, but let's be real. Don't snack on it if it's yellow, pink, or near a busy road. Call it snow to table dining. Fun snow facts to blow your mind. Snowflakes are speedy. Despite their delicate appearance, snowflakes can fall at speeds of up to nine miles per hour. That's faster than you'd think for something so fragile. Antarctica, the snow capital of the world. While it's the driest place on Earth, Antarctica has the largest snow reserves because it's just that cold. Talk about hoarding. Kyanophobia. Yep, fear of snow is a real thing. It's called kyanophobia. And it's not just about hating winter. It's a genuine fear of all things snowy. Snow is nature's frosty gemstones. Believe it or not, snow is technically a mineral, just like quartz or diamond. So during your next snowstorm, imagine getting showered with glittering gemstones from the sky. Fancy, huh? The soundproof magic of snow. Fresh snow isn't just pretty, it's quiet. Its fluffy, porous structure absorbs sound, turning snowy days into nature's version of noise-canceling headphones. Peace and quiet, delivered by winter. Snowstorms can create thunder. Yes, snowstorms can bring thunder and lightning. Thunder snow is like Mother Nature saying, this snowstorm isn't dramatic enough. Let's add some special effects. You can have snow without clouds. It's rare, but snow can fall from a clear sky. This phenomenon is called a diamond dust, and it happens in extremely cold climates like Antarctica when ice crystals form directly in the air. Snow's cozy nightlight effect. Ever notice the glow of snow at night? That's Nivean luminescence caused by snow reflecting moonlight, starlight, and even streetlights. It's like the world's softest, coziest nightlight. Snow can burn you. Snow isn't all fun and games. It can give you snow burn. UV rays bounce off its surface, so don't forget sunscreen for your winter adventures. Yep, even in the cold, sunscreen saves the day. Snow might be cold, but it has a way of warming our hearts, unless you're the one shoveling the driveway. Then it's less winter wonderland and more winter workout. Either way, let's raise a mug of hot cocoa to this frosty miracle. And hey, if you enjoyed this snowy adventure, give this video a thumbs up, hit subscribe, and drop a comment about your favorite snow memory. Let's keep the frosty fun going.